here. Mind readers. And the seven sons are the um, are these complete number of t-shirt fringe camps. What you think, Yahweh Shai said, beware of the wolves of sheep clothing. Because right. I'm going to whoop those wolves' ass. But you need to be aware of them. You know? You got to slow bail on you. Yep. No, that's all of this. We got we're watching you. Yeah, we watching. You better believe the Lord is watching you too. Yep. We're, we're those dogs barking, man. We don't we don't stop barking. Nope. You saw the little you see him? He said, Yep, yep. you know it. <laughs> you know it uh, keep uh, keep the pace. <laughs> this is the book of uh, Saint uh Saint Mark five. I'll start at verse um I'll start at um damn. I'm gonna start for I'm gonna start for uh, one verse one. Yeah. And it says, and they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of, uh, uh, into the country of the Gadar uh, Eans. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with the unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Hey, they couldn't bind Samson. Remember now, not saying he was a, a legion, right. but see, when you have the Holy Spirit on, you have strength too. Mm -hmm. And you know what proves? That, that these people got demons on them, guess what they call it? Retard strength. Yeah. Or people that are a little slower. Uh -huh. Remember uh, of Mice and Men? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. that? He would crush you, yeah, Lenny. Yeah. Yep. He'd mm -hmm. crush you. He killed the woman. He shook her. Don't tell George. And then she's cut. <laughs> she right. It was an accident, right? But, yeah. but he was, he, yeah. <laughs> but he was yeah. you know, too strong for his own good. Right. You know? Our, our life, oh. when he uh, hit that baseball, yep. he said, that's that retard strength. Yep. You know? See? See? Yeah. Uh, I can't get right. Yep, yep. You know? That's what uh, two thirds of our people are spiritually. Yep, you know. And then, then the Lord's gonna spot him, and then got him. Yeah. That nigga just got. Him. He got. He got spotted. He right. got, got it. Well, just yeah. He got. He got rushed to the hospital. And it says, um, verse uh, three, who had uh, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him. No, not the. Uh, no, not with chains. He was homeless. Yeah. So he was cast out. They probably cast him out like how they did Frankenstein. You know, that or Igor. Yeah, you yeah. know, they pitch for they all had to gather together like if we band together on this nigga, we could probably get him out of here. Right. You know what I mean? So Nate was all like, listen to Israel. You know what I mean? <laughs> like he, you know he had to do he was probably scared. Right. You know, hey, we don't know if this legion might have hit a couple niggas. Right. You know, we right. don't know who right. that this if that evil spirit, these you know, you never know. Verse uh, 4, and it says, Because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by well, him. Now, why was he bound with chains? Because he was knocking niggas out. He was dangerous. He was, he was dangerous. He was a threat. Right. right. He, but, had, but, he, had, he had super demonic human. power. Yep. Right? You know, he had power from the left hand side. Yep. So really, he was possessed, but the, all those demons in him, he had power. And he had yeah. power to break out of, you know. Yep. And he still believed in Yahweh Shai. Yep. On top of it. Yep. Woo. <laughs> and it says. So you could have a guy who's crazy but right. still believe in the Lord. Right. You know? Yeah. And teach. Well, once that spirit gets taken off him. Yep. Because also we know spirits are going to be uh, relieved off him. You're going to be relieved. Yep. Right? You know? Yep. That's right. And it says. And the chains have been plucked asunder by him. And the fetters broken in pieces. Hey, Not back then, metal was different. You know what I mean? You weren't Issa, you it wasn't cheap. You made sure your ass was locked down. Yeah. I believe it was called the Iron Age. Yep. I believe that was during that time. Well, Rose. Daniel 7, remember the teeth yep. like iron? That was referring to their their use of iron and weaponry and, and building. Yeah. You know? Rome, man. Yep. The Light. shields. The yep. might of Rome. Yep. And it says, um, and the fetters uh, broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always night and day. Oh, that proves why you need Yahweh Shai. Why didn't the Pharisees tame him? Why right. the Sadducees? Why didn't right. the Levitical priests heal him? They probably told him you gotta go for seven days, and they never came back. Yeah. You know what? Right though, like you're because we have laws. You know, if you're unclean, you know, release seven days. They probably like don't call us. We'll call you. Right. You know what I mean? You know what? They probably exiled this man. Yep. Come on, they exiled the man for being healed. How much more men? In this state, John the Baptist. You know, they probably ex they probably exiled him. Yep. You know, like you can't be around us. Yep. Yep. You know, good point. We can't heal you because you got demons on you. Yep. You know, yep. No compassion for us. It's why the Lord came. And no ability to heal. No ability to heal. Yep. Not even prayer. They didn't even pray for them. They didn't pray for them. And it says a uh, verse um verse five. And always night and day. 
he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. So he was in, into self-mutilation. That's how you know it's a demon. Exactly. You got people that, that cut themselves, yeah. you know, like that Eminem song. I like to cut myself and see how I bleed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, for, the, for the adrenaline. Yep. That's, that's actually a demon, man. Wow. You know? you know who's that's known amongst the most? Not only just Esau, but the women. Yeah. The women, they, they, they always wear long sleeves. I ain't got scars. They always cut themselves. Hell yeah. That's a demon. Remember, uh, the, 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 the Jake brought his son. He said he throws himself in water and fire. Yeah. That's a demon. Ah! Like in the movie Exorcist, uh, 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 I can't remember his name, but they called him Demi. I think it was Timothy. His name was Timothy. You know the movie Exorcist? He told a, the demon to get on him out of the girl. Rachel or whatever, he told a demon to get on him and then he said, ah, and jumped out a fucking window and killed himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the demon yeah, on yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know? Yep. Overtook yeah. his ass. Yep. So you got demons on you when you kill yourself. Hell yeah. That's a high level plague of the mind. What that Edomite say? The he, video? He said, well, I guess that's it. Boom! But and shot the blue shotgun. God oh. damn. That's terrible. That's man. like a, a bomb. You just put like a bomb through your head. You know? Close range too. Yeah, over a woman. Damn. <laughs> Plague of the heart. He was in that uh right. He was in that uh she loved me, she loved me not spirit. Damn. He ran out of dandelions. Damn, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying though? No. Right, right, though. Shit! That's yeah. why you gotta be mentally strong. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be stable, man, and patient. Yeah. You know, he wasn't patient. Man, man that's a that's a very heavy that's a very mature spirit, is patience, man. Mm -hmm. You know, just be patient. And there's nothing wrong with being humble and saying, Yeah, I'm working on that. Because you either you're gonna work on it or you're gonna ignore it and let it go worse. All right. Back in Mark 5 and verse 6, and it says, shit, you see people get mad at a red light. There's something called road rage. Right. On, on, on hinge. Yep. Oh, great example. <laughs> All you had to do is fucking say you're sorry. <laughs> and she didn't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Good title. Good yep. title. Yep. Yeah. Damn. Verse uh, 6, it says, But when he saw Yahushai far off, he ran and worshipped him. He ran. Yahushai. So he had a, you know, the spirit on him. Yeah. The spirit made intercession. Yes. Man. Those demons that was on him. Yes. Knew, you yep. know? <laughs> he said, I, I know Yahushai. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Verse 7, And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? And he was probably a big ass like Michael Tim Duncan. You know, right. with the Green Mile, Jake. Yeah, Michael yeah. Clark Duncan, yeah. The water, Michael. He was like some Terry Crew size. Like some linebacker. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like some muscle on muscle. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Probably some that. big ass Jake, man. And y'all remember Terry Crews in uh, The Gamer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was like. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Yep. He was he was channeling a yeah. spirit, bro. Because he ain't like that on Everybody Hates Chris. Yeah. You know, he's kind of like the comic relief. He's timid. Yeah. Right. But in that one, he channeled that that. Yeah. You gotta watch out for guys like you gotta just put up a curse. Yeah. Hey, as a personal testimony, about fifty yards uh, uh this way, this big fucking uh Brian Erlacher Mo ran up on us and uh, Marar led the curse and he stopped dead in his tracks. Yep. Remember that shit? Right over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boy was with us, man. He's trying to expose himself to us and shit. You know? Cause you would con you in a you like, oh I gotta snuff this. But yeah, not, got it. You know, you got know, it. He, but through the spirit, you know, our, our brother Marar, he was in a, you know, and we followed too. Yahweh, Bashim. And he said, and couldn't yeah. do nothing. Yeah, call lawyer, Bashim. Yeah, Bashim. Yeah, Bashim. Bashim. We had a legion come to us. He was a mo. He was a mo legion. He was a, he was a, he was a violent mo. He was a violent, brolic mo. Yeah, man. Shit, man. <laughs> Trying to. Touch us. Trying to hurt us. Lord ain't allow him to touch us. Nope. Call Lord, Call Lord, 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 Lord. He couldn't even get past the hedge. He couldn't even get past the side. The angel had this, the angel was like, wow, oh, boy, I'll fuck you up. Right. You Excuse know? my language. The angel had this, the angel was at his neck, bro. Right. All, all three of them. Yep. You know, was each brother has their own glory and angel, yeah. he's gonna get fucked up. Yep. So he is fucked up. He's yep. probably having he's probably dead. Yep. Right. Most probably, yeah, if yeah. he's not, he's very quick. Yep. The nightmares, disease, invisible plagues. You no. Know? Yep. Oh, yeah. That's right. The Lord's so cold, man. He could put your ass in a coma and wake you up when you go to nukes it. Man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, you know, proves that the movie or the show uh, Walking Dead, the main character, Rick, he was in a coma and slept through, then woke up in the zombie apocalypse. Damn. Instead of getting killed, 
he woke up in the shit. That's judgment. Like That's 28 judgment. days later. Oh, yeah. He yeah. woke up in the hospital, half his fucking head shaved. Damn. So he bro. woke up in the shit and like, what's going on? Right. And then he went to a church and the bitch looked up and tried to bounce on him. Damn. In a church. Judgment. Judgment day. Damn. <laughs> oh, men seeking death. Yeah. You shall not find it. Yeah. That was during war, the war. So how much more now? Nothing new under the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Back in Mark 5 and verse 7, and it says, And cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee? Yahweh shot thou son of the most high of God. He knew he was the son. Yeah. And, it's, and it says, That proves it was the spirit because what did the Lord tell Peter? Thank you. Know? you. Exactly, bro. Right. <laughs> you got you gotta form, some form of the spirit on you to tap in. But it's either the Holy Spirit or left hand, like Jake. They, they do left hand shit to tap in. And some shit ain't always true, but they be knowing certain things. Cause you, Satan can tell you things too. You know what I mean? That's why we have to use discretion and like we get something too deep, we might not even go into it. Like it's not even expedient. And you know what I, you know what I mean? They, then he'll get you. He'll give you something else that's too deep that now ain't true and now he got you. Now you're roped in. Verse seven, it says, I adjure thee by the Most High that thou, uh, uh, that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Woo! Matthew 10, bro. Yeah. That's a sign. That's a miracle. You know? That's actually a miracle. Bro, yeah, yeah. a man, like the brother was saying, now we saying in the spirit that they exiled. Then Yahweh Shai of Nazareth came and healed him. And then he went back and. Yeah, that's dog, oh, man. That's probably why the Lord didn't want him to follow. Now go back and, and tell, tell him what I did. Yep. Now you go know? back and tell him that. Go right tell Come that. on, that's Judah, bro. Right. Yeah, all that's a that's a righteous Judah. That's power. All right. Niggas think they got power. No, that's power. That's man. power. You know. And so, man. <laughs> A verse, uh, that's why you got to believe there's a hedge around us. Yep. Yeah, you know, there's a hedge there's, around there us. Is. There is angels around that's us. That's right. The angel of the Lord and kept around about those yep. that fear him and delivered them. That's right. why we see, and look, you got birds over here. You got the mother squirrel hen running there. You know what I mean? There's life. Even uh, bees fly around us, birds. You're not saying we like land on me, bee, but you could, there's a there's a spiritual vibration right here. Yeah. Uh, verse 9, and it says, and he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, my name is Legion, for we are many. Wow. Man. And it says, and he besought to him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was, uh, now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great, uh, a great herd of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. Man, so even the devil, even Satan, man, yeah. even, even the legion. Man. Like, uh -huh. Please give yep. us another vessel. Yep. Well, it you know? says they go about seeking a home. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yep. That proves that things are unclean, man. You know? Uh, verse, I'm, uh, what's that? Verse um, 13. And forthwith Yahweh Shai gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and, uh, and entered into the swine, and the, herd, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about 2,000. So, yeah, even that was a miracle. Right. Can you imagine seeing just mad or hurt a swine just rushing into the sea? Like, what the, yeah. what's going on? Right. You know? So he had 2,000 spirits on him. Yeah. yeah. That gives you a number of how many evil angels could be on you, man. Right. And they're just popping off on you. Yep. You know, 2,000 demons? 2,000? That's Jeez. crazy. Jeez. They showed that in the, uh, the what's that again? Uh, uh, Mortal Kombat with Ermac. Right. You know? He's a perfect example of that scripture, man. Yep. And see, a lot of these people got demons on them, but not to the extreme of their fighting. But you, you know, you can see demons manifest quickly. You know, uh, anger demon, impatient demon, those things will pop out you. Like you could be laughing, having fun, and then boom! Like that's why they show you, like Cardi B, though they malfunction. Yeah. Those are demons on them. They're not fucking clones. There's demons on them, man. Right, heavy, heavy, spirits. heavy spirits on their ass, where they'll stop in the middle of what they're doing. Where they're plaguing the heart. You know, their heart is, man. They came to look in the mirror. Yep. You know, that's how plague they are. You got something? You no. grab me Ephesians 6? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Say Ephesians 6? Yeah. Gotcha. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I'm looking for it right now. Uh, this is Ephesians. Uh, get all the meat, right? This is a, you know, it's heavy, bro. As a personal testimony, this was one of the main, like, scriptures that I read first coming in. You know what I mean? Because we kind of, when you first, we first came in, yeah. we got put on literally to the spirit stuff all right away. Like, what? My thoughts are mine? Yeah. What? What you mean? Like, we didn't, you know what I mean? Like, and, you know, not like that, but you do need to be aware of that. You do. Because if not, you're not going to be able to self-examine. You're going to be a reprobate. And then when you're brought to counsel, you're going to think everybody else is tripping. Yep. Like, why everybody hate Chris? No, bro, you. Right. You. So back to the Ephesians. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and in the might and, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High. Right, you got to put on the whole armor, man. That whole armor is a metaphor for the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Spirit. You have to be strong in this thing. Man. We're in a spiritual fight, okay? And if, if you get taken over, then you, you're going to lose your soul. Yep. This is actually a battle for your soul. Yep. Woo! This is a battle for your soul, man. Actually, can you give me a second? I just... What's that song? Got to be smooth. Got to be strong. Got to be wiser. Yeah, man. You know, and you got to whatever you like and you got to pray for it in the spirit. Like Baba Kusha, send me strength, send me wisdom, whatever you like it, man. Send me the Holy Spirit. Yeah, send him a cock of dust. Because the Holy Spirit will help you identify uncleanness within you. Mm -hmm. Then you go through that, that uncomfortable phase of purging it out. And then at the end, the peaceable fruit. <sighs> right. Uh, I'm better again, you know, as they say. Ephesians 6 and 10, 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So there's a so there's a lot of it's a lot of right you know like the spirit. I did a lesson years ago and I used the fight scene in It Man as a spirit. This is how you gotta fight. They're they're here. They're there. They're down there. They're ah, ah, ah. You're, you're fighting them, man. So you gotta be a spiritual Mike Tyson It Man. Right, you got, you got to bob, you got to weave, you got to block, yep. and you got to throw your punches. Yep. You got you to be aware of your spiritual armor, okay? Because we don't have guns or, or weapons per se, but we do have the power of prayer, right? Prayers go up, blessings come down. down. We have the power of reading, we have the power of brotherhood, uh, faith, counsel, all right? Which faith is a shield, faith is that defense, man. So all of these are all your weapons. This is how you're going to defend yourself in the spiritual war That's where right. we're in. You know, the sword, which is the sword, yeah. is the spirit. This yeah. is how you, you know. Yeah. And then like Leonidas, ha! Yeah. you know what I'm saying? And you got to get familiar with that sword. Yeah. That's why it says, blessed is he that read it. Yeah. You know, and they that hear the words of his prophecy. Yeah. You know, and it reads uh, uh, Ephesians 6 and 12, which right here, this Ephesians 6 and 12, what accounts should come to mind is Jacob wrestling. Uh, not that the angel's wicked, but you know. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right. but against principalities. Right, because we're not out here actually, you know, getting into fights with Esau right. or, or the heathens or, or, or the camps. Right. You know? Yep. We're at peace with them. Yep. For the most part. Right, we're not walking up to Esau and throwing gloves out and dealing the box. Or, right. or, or showing them our daggers. Right. right. You know? Right. And it reads, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world which is who the, the freemasons the illuminati all right the, the elites of esau man the so-called one percent which they actually do demonic sacrifices to get power from the left hand side don't you know they're putting curses on you they, they make you gay they actually put curses on you they have spells they're praying against us as we speak man you think they don't know when we go to camp right so we're supposed to put curses upon that's them that's right that's you right know? And these people prove when these people are here, the moles, the, the, the hoes, you know what I mean? These they all prove that the Lord ain't protecting them. Because you've succumbed to be to show you're unclean. If the thought came in your mind and then you acted it out. But so, hey, he's he's taken. See, this is what we gotta go through. All right. Man. Loud ass contraption. Right. Fucking demon people. symbolism. Yep. Man. Yeah. It's a fight. We yeah. actually we have been fighting since we got out here. Yep. It's a fight to get here. Yep. It's a fight on uh, parking. You know? Yep. This whole thing is a battle, man. 
All right. I saw her through the spirit. We stayed prayed up. You know. Uh, a I sent the heavy prayers before I got out there. Uh, man, I need you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's all. Gotcha. Remember, it says uh, with this shall increase. Yep. So it's about to increase, man. Yeah, it's increasing. You can feel it. L last year we were at camp. And there, it wasn't even Halloween, and they you had people in costumes. Remember the, the white, oh yeah, yeah, the dudes, the Edomites. They were in uh, fucking skirts, man. Yeah, man. Fucking skirts. Shit. Sick. Sick. God damn. Uh, it says uh, the spirit. That's why we leave at a certain time because right now we know it's time to go. Because and you know it's heavy. You got a you got a couple camps. Guess what? Not only did they go out at night, children at night. Not only they go out at night, which that's spiritual. We're not saying because you go out at night, you're that. But it's spiritual, you're at night. Right. Not only do they go out at night, they camp by bars. What the fuck do they call it? Wine and spirits. So, so they're, they're asking for trouble, man. Yep. They, they, they're preaching the name like Paul preaching. But one day, the Lord going to send a demon right their way. They're asking for it. Bro. They're asking for it, you know. They're asking for right it. Right now, we out here, we're prophesying unto the wind. The Lord sent a sheep. Ooh, we edify it. But, you know, we're in the spirit, man. Yeah. We're, we're teaching. Yeah. We're doing what we need to do. And know? there's a lot of times where people stop, but you you might not see it, but you can't even tell, then they just keep walking. Because it's if, if it's on them, they'll come, you know? We deal with that. People come and just look, you know? Ephesians 6 and 12, but we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right, that, that's why you have demonic attacks, man. You have uh, demonic dreams, uh, you lose things. Yeah. That's actually a demonic attack. I had a few demons last night, about to go to sleep. Yeah. You know, I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't even watch nothing. Why is why is this shit messing right. me? Right, why is this in my head? Yep. That's a demon trying to plant that thought up in there yep. to, to mess you up, man. Yep. You know? And, and it, so that's why, man, you got to, before you go to sleep, when you pray, when you wake up, pray, pray without ceasing, man. Yeah. All right. Never stop praying. Yeah. Uh, it says, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, see? Spirit, see? Spirit. <laughs> Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor, not half. Right. So, so he's letting you know, he's letting you know what, what we're up with. Yeah. All right. So how do you combat this? Without the spirit, you ain't gonna combat it. You either, uh, you can't join them, beat them. You can't beat them, join them. That's what they say, right? Yeah. That's why a lot of our people have joined themselves unto Esau. You know? Yeah, that's like you can't put on half the garment. Right. You put on the whole garment. You, you know what I mean? Well, if you put on half the garment, you will still be naked. Yep. You know, we don't want to be naked. Nope. And it reads Ephesians 6 and 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the most high, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand so there, there's no way you can there's no way you can overcome this world without this word man. there's no way you can do it you know and it says stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth right what, what did the what did the most high tell joe gird up thy loins like a man, man for i required of thee man. you know i prayed that the other day you know please Baba Kasha, put the spirit on me to gird up because the battle was real. Yeah, it is real. So I'm like, real. all I can do is man up in it. You know, right. stand bold in it. Yeah, so man. please put the spirit on me to gird up, man. Right, right. Because this shit is real out here. That's what you got to pray, man. You got to pray for the Lord to give you the spirit man. for whatever he put in front of you yeah. to get through. You know, because you can't focus at it. You got to look beyond it. Like, we're not looking at this world because it's temporal. We're focused on the world that we can't see, which is eternal. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why Job said, shall we not receive evil with good? Yeah. Ain't this been good? This knowledge, this wisdom, this been good, more, good, more, sweet. Right? Yeah. And then the Lord like, all right, now that I give you that, boop, right? Yeah. Now that I taught you how to counter, boop, boop. Love so it. now you got to, oh, yeah. and I feel the spirit. I'm like, every time, you know, in the spirit, I feel increased with something in the back of my mind. I'm like, all right, it's going to get tougher. Yeah. So it's up to us as men to embrace it. You know, we have to. Don't get scared, like, because then you would um, you would hinder yourself. Well, I don't, I don't want to keep working hard. Right. Like, like the game gets harder. I'm just gonna stay right here at pro. You don't want to play Hall of Fame? Right. Oh, you oh you don't want to be Hall of Fame? You know, or Hall of the Giants? You know. Right. Uh, Ephesians six and fourteen. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, Yahweh Shai, yep. having on the breastplate of righteousness, 
and your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Right, we, we be itching to come out here, man. Yep. All right, that's why we all here every weekend. Call all y'all. Call all y'all. Right. You know, right. the Lord allows us. Uh, we've been through a lot, but the Lord always allows us to come out here and teach. You know? Yep. And it says, uh, and it says, uh, above all, taking the shield of faith. That's, that's the key right there, because you can't even please the Lord without faith, man. So that's number one. All right, you got to have that faith. First, you get that shield, and then you learn how the world does work. You know, you start blocking for a while, and then you start swinging back. All right? And that's why going back to uh, Leonidas, he couldn't take that dude on because he didn't have faith. Yeah. He didn't have, he couldn't lift his shield representing he didn't have faith to lift with him. And what happened? He ended up going to the fucking Persians, man. Yep. And what did he tell them? Because you can't hold the shield, you're going to get somebody killed. Yep. You don't got faith. Oh, Deuteronomy 28. If you're afraid, you can't be at war. You can't go to battle. You can't, you, you ain't got, you ain't got the shield of faith. You naked. Yep. We can't use you. You're how naked. You, how you going to uh, block faith? Yep. You know? Yep. How are you going to protect your brother? Because you can have faith and put the shield up over the octagon, man. Yep. You know? Yep. And it reads above Ephesians 6 and 13, above all taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able. Right, and, and faith is the evidence of things not seen, the substance of things hoped for. Okay, what do we hope for? Salvation. What did the Lord say? Lift up your head because your salvation draw nigh. That's right. And it says, uh, where Ephesians 6 and um, 16, it says, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Right, and that's the uh, demonic dreams, uh, ailments. All right, you, you, the woman coming up against you. All right, yeah. you having to go to court, being get to go to getting locked up. The devil shall cast some of you in prison. prison. All right, nigga woman, all of these things are darts, man. All right, vices, uh, drinking, you know, alcohol, all of these things could, could be those darts that Satan throws at you. Al Guhal, yep, the old man. Uh, you might have did something in the world then Satan will try to get you back into that, man. Yep. Old, old friends yep. hitting you up. Those yep. are thoughts coming at you. Someone said that. They said, well, the, they, you know, they said my name. They said, well, the old you wouldn't have been done that. Well, bitch, I'm not the old me. Right. The old That's me's right. dead. The old me's dead. He died. Yep. You know, he died. Like um, in the movie Professional, your brothers know that with Leon. Uh, yeah. remember, yeah. remember the little girl, uh, Kirsten? She's an actress now. Yeah. But when she was in that movie, when they called her, she said, she's dead. She's not here anymore. That's us. We're dead now. You know, like, uh, I don't really have ties with people that I knew in the world. So they don't know where I'm at. They don't know where I'm at. I'm not even in the same city. Right. So you don't even know. That we're dead to this world. We're dead to this world. We already damn near off the grid. You know, we do our, but we damn near off the fucking yep. grid, man. Right. You know, we pay our bills and that. Like Lee, Ray Liotta said in Goodfellas, besides my uh, birth certificate and uh, my mother's um, uh, car note, you wouldn't know I existed. You know what I mean? Like he was he was a good fella. He was in the mob. So that them, this is higher than the mob. You know? More dangerous too. Right. Because it's actually uh, spiritual. Yep. You know, if you fall out of this, you'll be you'll become that leader. Yep. You're right. You, you know? Yeah, he said worse in the end than the beginning. Uh Ephesians 6 and 16, and it says uh 17, and take the helmet of salvation and right. the, you gotta believe, man. You gotta believe that you're part of the elect. You gotta believe that you're gonna be saved, man. You gotta believe that that brothers are gonna be, there and you gotta speak it. Yep. We got power, man. Yep. We got power, brother. Start, start speaking things into existence. That's right. right. Like I, I am gonna be saved. The Lord's right. gonna be with me, man. That's right. My children are gonna be saved. Angels right. are around me. Start speaking that. Yep. That's that helmet of salvation. That's right. All right. You knowing that the scriptures are real, and that's what the Lord wants. The Lord don't want anything less than that, man. Yep. Ephesians six and seventeen, and take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit, which right, is because we're not actually out here with, with a helmet on, because we can't teach with our hands covered, man. So, so salvation, you actually got to believe that in your mind. Even in the uh, Vikings, I was just reading it. In the Vikings' custom, certain helmets they only wore for rituals. Yep. So it's a spiritual thing. It's not for war. I don't wear this out in the field. No, they, that's that's Esau. Right. They got blonde hair, like the Vikings, the football team. Yep. They didn't. Right. They didn't get down like that. Nope. Man. I was reading, it was some dude that made that up in like 18, Renaissance. They made that shit up. That's not even really it. They whitewashed yep. it and watered it down. Yep. You know? Yep. Which the Vikings were jakes, by the way. Yep. You know, if you watch that show Vikings on Amazon Prime, those are all Israelites. Okay. Well, actually, uh, they're, one of my favorite paintings right now is um, 
uh, it's called uh, King Canute uh, defies the water. And basically it was a king that had to be brought down to the water to show his people that he wasn't all powerful because they were reverencing him as a God. So he was reverencing his power and he was like, look, I'm not a God. But my point is, when you look at the painting, it's a whitewash. But then I had to Google it. The dude that painted it, he was born in the 1900s. So it's not even it's not even the real image. You know, what I mean? it's not even the real image, man. You know, so that just goes to show you, you know, the real thing. They whitewash it. But it's a, I got to show you, bro, it's a dope ass painting. It's Jake. It's humbling. Yeah. He's like, look, I can't stop the waves. Yeah, those, those mosaics, man. I like those mosaics. That's so uh, dark age images. I like that. Man. Yep. Finishing off, taking uh, Ephesians 6 and 17 and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Mm. That's it. So you got to know. You're actually, that's why it says, uh, seek you out the book of the Lord and read. Yep. You got to know. Yep. You know? We're equipped for the battle out here. Yeah, you, what's that song? I want to know your, you want to know the Lord's name. Right, right. You should be wanting to, see, that's a spell. Yeah. Just like BLM. Say his name. They should be saying you were shy. All right. Well, they did a comparison. It was uh, Jaheem and some other guy. Where Jaheem said, put that woman first. Now he's bald in, his hair is bald. Now he yep. looks miserable. Yep. You know, you, you got too short. <laughs> too short got a song called Put That Bitch. He still looks young, yep. he looks vibrant. The shit was funny, man. Yep. <laughs> they did a side yeah. by side with him. That shit was funny. Sir. Well, even to add to that, you had D Ray Davis, the comedian, and the same stand up comedy, the All Star. He was getting on women, yeah. you know, checking them, and now looking at them, you know, still vibrant. And then, um, Aries Spears was bigging the black woman up and look at him now. Completely Bro. finished, looking Bro. sickly, dark. He's di yeah. done. Man, and he look. scoffed against the most high. And he scoffed against, and then the, you know what the Lord did? He had him get punched on another uh, podcast. youth podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rocked it. Go away, my small side by small side. Call 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 the Lord's call. cold, bro. The hey, Lord, you know what I mean? Hey, the Lord ain't dealing with women worship, man. Nope. You know, you got to get in your place. Yep. This thing is all about order, too. Yep. You know? You want that in the edges? Yeah, Bible, yep. Second Edges chapter 7 and verse 56, it says, For while we lived and committed iniquity, we considered not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. Right, who'd have, who'd have thought, man, that we're going to be reincarnated? I mean, back then we knew about reincarnation, but think about it in this life. You know, we actually came back and now we're paying for the sins we committed in our past life. So you can't just ask the Lord for the, to forgive you for the sins you did now in this life for all your reincarnation. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. Uh, verse, uh, uh, verse 58 it says that it that if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. Right, if you be overcome with the uh pollution of this world, all right, if you, if you take the karagma, okay, if you sell your soul, then you're gonna be destroyed. And it says, but if he get the victory, he and shall how, how do you get the victory? All right, by staying faithful to the word, by staying right. by staying submerged in the word, because we're mere worms. Okay, if, if a worm leaves the soil, then it could be killed by any other creature. It has no defense mechanism, man. Yeah. That's like us. We don't have any power here. Well, the birds roundabout. Yep. You know, what the birds do, they, they 